Hey, what is up everybody and welcome back to another video. We are gonna blast through this intro because it is so much later than what I wanted to make a video today. I got back from work at like half three or something and then I expected to be like, you know what it is? Make a quick video. Be great. All the time in the world. And I wasn't in more than five minutes and my fiance's dad showed up. <sighs> Good God. So... Uh, some of you may know that I've been like trying to find a car because my car is basically on its last legs and I'm just going to like sell it for spares and repairs and then use that money to, you know, for like to pay for another car. So he, he's he been trying to help us find a car and he was like, I found this one. It looks great, which it looked fine. It was a nice car. It was cheap. And I was like, yes, yeah, you know what it is? Let's, we'll, go and, we'll, we'll go and have a look at it after like much debate. And we got all the way up there. And um, yeah, the the it was like a half an hour, 45 minute drive. And it was for fucking nothing because the guy who advertised it as being a perfect runner and completely fine, no problems. We get there and the water was leaking into the oil which if you know anything about cars is more certainly not a good thing so uh, yeah we got all the way there for absolutely no reason the guy clearly tried to fucking stiff her because when we opened the water a bunch of the water had like squirted out and it was like sizzling meaning he had had the engine on so he had he clearly knew that the water was leaking into the fucking oil and didn't bother to tell us and then tried to get rid of all of the water and just be like, oh, there's no water in it, you'll not be able to tell. Luckily, my fiance's dad just carries water around with him, you know, just in case he needs to fill it up in his car. So he just whips up the boot, pours it in, and it's just like, yeah, no, that's, yeah, no, that's no good at all. Because that car would have broke down on us moments after we bought it. It would have just overheated. So, you know, that, that was the beginning part of my day. But anyways, apart from that... Uh, in the last episode, we saw that Caboose had... Oh, what was it? Was it Freckles? I think it was Freckles. The giant robot that uh, targeted the Reds and was about to eradicate Griffin Simmons. God rest their souls, I'm sure. But um, yeah, we're going to see where it's going to go from here. Can't wait. Super excited. Again, sorry for the rushed intro, but it is nearly 9 o'clock at night and I have <laughs> work at 7 in the morning. <laughs> it's still so much to do. All right, let's go. All right, we're back. Um, I say we're back. You guys missed the first part because I I played it and immediately got slapped by a, uh, by an advert, which was fun. But yes, Freckles is back. Let's go. Let's watch it from here. Bad Freckles. Bad Freckles. You just almost oh. killed our enemies. What are you guys up to? <laughs> yeah, I don't blame you for being scared, Griff. You uh, you almost died. Dude. Oh. Can hear me? Who is that? A new character or an old character returning? Maybe. So. Never mind. <laughs> Keep my mouth shut. Tell me again, where did you find this robot? Hey, David Freckles. That's a stupid name. Stupid cool, I mean. Great name. I mean, I wish that were my name. Yeah, Freckles is the best name ever that there ever was. Got down straight it is. It's a Mantis class military assault droid. Wait, why Mantis? Well, you see those legs? They kind of resemble the legs of a praying mantis. No, they don't. Then maybe it's the head shape? Yeah, maybe it's because during the act of procreation, they rip off the head of their mate's body and devour it. It's like an act of sexual cannibalism. Ugh. What? Eh, I did it worse. That really doesn't surprise me at all. <laughs> Actually, I have to give it to Caboose on this one. Robot definitely looks more like Freckles than a Mantis. Fine. Where did you find Freckles? <laughs> well, I, <laughs> I fucking love that name for a robot. And I was sad and I missed church. This is the greatest story of our generation. Quiet. And then I heard a noise. Seriously, it's like I was there. Tucker. Yeah, then I saw the little guy and her like little rock and face. Body part. Let me just 
under like pieces of rock and spaceship and body parts and he just moved them out of the way and there he was. It, it, it's scary how unaware he is. I fucking love Freckles. <laughs> He's my favorite. I love him. Adorable relationship. Just like every anime character ever. Didn't you give birth to a baby alien a few years back? Oh, let's not bring family into this. No. Where did it come out of? I still don't know. I'm not doing shit. We're getting rescued soon, remember? Actually, I think it would be smart if we continued with our training routine. What? Why? There's no point. Training is an ongoing process, Tucker. And as the leader of this team, I want to make sure that we're ready for anything. This is fucking stupid. Nothing has happened since we crashed here. Well, you never know if someone... Or something will attack. So stop complaining mm. and start jogging. And where are you going? I'm heading up to the ship. Someone needs to do an inventory of our food supplies. I prefer it be someone who can count. I only screwed up twice. You screwed up once. <laughs> <laughs> so you're just gonna leave me with them? Five laps, gentlemen. Tucker, make sure you count for a caboose. Uh. God damn it, I love it. Regarding a direct order from a commanding officer is punishable by death. What? Since when? Target locked. God damn it, okay, I'm going. Freckles don't take shit. <laughs> Who outside? Who outside? Who outside? Freckles, you outside? Outside. Who outside? Who outside? Right when I go outside? Why do I want to go outside? Let's all go outside. He talked himself into it. Oh my god, we're here. Oh my god. <laughs> <laughs> Would it kill you to take God, the show, off? man. Sons, I've been thinking. I don't care. Take out the fucking trash. Why do we carry our guns? What? I also no, wondered we that. Carry them because we're soldiers. Yeah, but we're not really fighting anybody, are we? Well, yeah, but you never know when we could be attacked. Attacked by who? The blues? Uh, we haven't fought you make a valid point. Since arriving in this canyon, and yet here we are walking around in full body armor with a rifle in our hands. About to attack us any second. What's your point? My point what is, was that? why don't we ever just walk around without our guns? Do it. What? Drop your gun. No. Why not? I don't want to. You don't want to, or you can't. Um, I'm, I'm going back inside. Is. And thus, Dexter Griff single-handedly avoids trash duty for the second day in a row. Hoorah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you've, you avoided. Trash duty by completely breaking the fourth wall there and just basically explaining the fact that, you know, you physically can't get rid of the gun. Scary. Griff. Bravo. You brock the game. Brock? I knew there was a reason we were armed. Brock the game. What's wrong? What's wrong? How about scheming, training, conniving, commiserating, colluding? Take your pick. Also, building a giant robot. Those blues are up to no good. And here I was, thinking something important was about to happen. But, sir, didn't we build a robot first? That you did. Those point oh doesn't count. He's about as useful as a box full of griffs. Hey, I'm offended. Oh, B.N. Oh, poor Lopez, point 2.0. Clearly. What do you expect us to do about it? I need your boys to conduct some reconnaissance. Secure intel. Get deep in Charlie's bush. Initiate Delta Force. Tango and cash. Are these orders or 80s action movies? Find out exactly what those pesky blues are up to. You mean go over there? Near that monster? See? This is exactly the kind of robot overlord shit I was talking about. If only someone had listened. It'll be he has a valid point. I have confidence that at least one AI, man. Time. I give it five years. Tiny crevices. 
Sarge, please! I don't want to upset the Mantis! What's a Mantis? The giant robot! Oh. Steve Need knows what it's called. I don't know, because it's green? That's oh. The point. Well, that's he just... <laughs> Of course, he just called it the same thing. Whatever, dum dum. Can't you see we're talking strategy? Stupid new Lopez. Look, the blues are no more dangerous than this idiot. Oye, vamos, chicos, ya basta. But that robot could. I feel so bad for him. Shoot him in the back. I do. Yep. Simmons, I meant not 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 Lopez 2.0. So you're not going to the food storage place. Oh my god, Wash, you're a liar. You're a liar. Son of a bitch. No freckles, no freckles go down. I did. Yes, <laughs> yes, yes, good freckles. Yes, yes, sucker. Yes, did you see this? Freckles did it, squat. Great. Now teach him to fetch. And then throw a stick off a cliff. Oh, he knows how to fetch. Nailed it. <laughs> um, see that that was just that was just poor phrasing on my part. Really. I mean I was just I I, I think I was just grammatically it was grammatically incorrect. So It was just incorrect. Alright. In general. Yeah. Shot the ball. So uh what do we do now? I guess we not even close to fetching. Watch Exercise is making me feel really good. <laughs> this isn't getting us anywhere. Well, why Slightly you... turned on, and I can't decide if I like it. What do we look like? SEAL Team 6? Who gives a shit, dude? You already said they're not up to anything. But what about the robot? Oh, yeah. See, we need to strategize. Okay, fine. How do we want to do this? Oh, we could do like a sort of good cop, bad cop thing. What if we act casual? Like we're just shooting the shit or something? Maybe if we go in, guns blazing, we can intimidate them into telling us what we want. Wait, what do How are you going to intimidate them when they have freckles? I... What are you doing? Or Tucker, yeah. All right, listen, Tucker. I'm willing to hear you out, but my partner is crazy. I can't hold him back. What? I mean, hey, what's up? <laughs> Wait, I mean, tell me what you know. I'm sorry. That's a you just went through every emotion ever. Yeah. <laughs> The stages of denial. That'd be great, because it's a little weird. It's really weird. Sarge ordered us to come spy on you. He thinks you're up to something. Dude, the only thing I've done today is exercise. <sighs> you poor tortured soul. What are you training for? Fuck if I know, every day it's the same thing. Wake up, run drills. Clean the base, run drills. Maintain order, run drills. I have glamorous calves and a miserable fucking life. <laughs> Can we please stop running drills? I had calves once. Way more tender than a regular cow. You can taste the youth. Wash makes you clean the base? And our equipment, and our vehicle. Oh, the horror. <laughs> Could you imagine having to deal with someone like that? Rules and order. Oh. I know. Alright, right? Homer Simpson, <laughs> get the fuck up down. <laughs> what a loser. Uh, <clears throat> yeah, mm, well, uh, that all sounds very interesting, Tucker, but I think I need to see this for myself. What? What? Well, you know, I just want to make sure your story checks out. Inspect the base, stick around for a few days. Checks out? What are you going to find that we can't already see? The thing is completely exposed. It's empty. It's clean, dude. <sighs> clean. Are you sure you want to hang around? Wash might make you run his obstacle course or something. Yeah, Sarge made us do that too. On your mark, get set. He's going to shoot him. <laughs> Fucking knew it. <laughs> Sometimes when I see, <laughs> Buckshot comes out. Uh... Let me just hang out for a few days. I'll be cool, I swear. Don't lie to the man's face. Whatever, dude. Just remember, I warned you. Well, Griff, I guess this is goodbye. Wait, how long are you planning on being gone? Until Forever. Done, I guess. And you're sure you'd rather be near the Blues and their giant killer fucking robot instead of just coming back to base? Hey, I think I broke the urinal in the laundry room. We don't have a urinal in the laundry room. Oh. Then where did you just... Oh my god. Yes, I'm sure. Oh my god. 
bothers you, just stick them with a magnet. Computers haven't been affected by magnets since the 20th century. Which is exactly what they want you to think. <sighs> if that works at some point in this show, I'm gonna fucking lose it. <laughs> Alright, Freckles. Fetch! Uh-oh. Hey, Caboose, you dropped your ball. Ah, what did I do? Oh, uh, yeah, sorry. Yeah, we're, we're still working on that one. Hey, we're Sarge. Por qué me la preguntas? Usted no habla español. Rabbit Griff, I see you've returned from your reconnaissance mission unscathed. That's disappointing, but acceptable. Hombre, lo que es carne de este tipo que <laughs> usted. So, I like how he's like the mediator, like he rip. He realizes everybody's weird bullshit that nobody else seems to pick up on or mention in the show. Fucking love it. There's always that one character. I just kind of wing it. I'm just, I'm just here. I mean, that is quite literally the name of the show, so I, I would hope so. Sarge, calm the fuck down. God damn it. Griff, slap his ass. I mean, slap him in the face. I like that one. <laughs> I'd like to see you do that. I think so. Why aren't you running drills? How do you know I didn't already finish them? Because you're not on the ground complaining about irritated nipples. I'm telling you, my chest piece rubs right up against them, and not in a good way. Why do you refuse to take these things seriously? Why can't you just let us do our thing? I'm trying to make sure you're the best, that you're ready for anything. Why? Blue Team was just fine with being mediocre until you came along. What the fuck are you worried about? It's just a feeling. I can't explain it. Really? Well, I mean, there's definitely somebody hanging about. When you smell Why isn't the team treasurer? Oh, so we're going there. There. Yep. Oh, bitch, I already went there, and I took pictures. Oh, girl. Well, I can't say I'm surprised, Lavernius. You just always have to get the last laugh. Lavernius. Mr. Sarcastic. If you spend as much time training as you do mouthing off, you could probably beat Freckles at arm wrestling. Don't be stupid. Freckles doesn't have arms. He has guns. And pause. Freckles shake. <laughs> Chill out, man. What is... Why is he here? I took the liberty of claiming the bunk closest to you. I hope you don't mind. I don't have time to deal with you right now. Go away. <laughs> Good one, sir. Oh, hey, by the way, is it cool if I start calling you sir? Why is he still here? Beats me. If I was him, I'd be as far away from this base as possible. You can call me champ if you want. Or, you know, son. Just ignore him. You're getting kind of creepy, dude. And a little creepy. 
everything in my power to ensure your safety, whether you like it or not. We don't need you protecting us. I know! That's why I'm trying to help you. Help us with what? Defending against attack? No one is going to attack us! Attack! Oh, you got to that was about the worst landing I've ever seen. <laughs> Don't do it, Sarge. You'll not like the way it ends. Uh, I would just like to take this opportunity to point out that this was not my idea whatsoever at all. Don't believe you. You have literally the worst timing. Stew it, Thin Mint. We're no longer fraternizing with the enemy. Thin Mint? Now, see, when he says we, imagine he's only referring to himself. Do not group us together. Bitch, my armor's aqua. Hmm? I think. What the hell are you two doing? Uh, again, not two, just him. I can't stress this enough. You made me believe that reds and blues could coexist. That we could work together as one people. That we could all get together and be a little purple. We can. We are. Seriously, what the fuck is this about? You kidnapped one of my Guess it kind of makes sense. Who? Me? He wasn't kidnapped, dipshit. He came over here by himself. We can't get him to leave. Is this true, Simmons? It's not your fault, sir. It's Griff's. What did I do? You're fucking disgusting, Griff. Well, yeah, but I've always been like that. Sarge was the one that decided to take half the base for himself. Oh, then I guess it is your fault, sir. That makes you a traitor! What? Level um, yeah, no reason for panic. Everything's fine. Might anyone have a rolled up newspaper at the ready? I think if you hit it on the nose, it may kill you. I think so. Like, I, I don't know. <laughs> Everyone just seems to be fighting amongst themselves right now. I'm a man! Blue man! You take that back. Wash is a great leader. I assume. Blast for me! Seriously, I would rather follow Caboose into battle than you. Oh, really? Then let's just make him the leader. See how much better off you are. Well, I humbly accept your domination, accept the position. Shut up! Do not talk to the Oh, <laughs> Nah, it's Caboose. <laughs> I love it. Yeah, I'm God, back. As my first duty as leader in the position of the nomination, I say you can be our blue team forever. No thanks, I'm good. Private Simmons. <laughs> Deserting your post will designate you as a wall. This designation is punishable by death. What? Uh, hey, well, he's fucked. Yeah, that was never gonna end well. <laughs> you back chatted a fucking robot, that's what you did. Is this the mysterious person? Even Freckles did a slow-mo turn. Holy shit! Who is it? Who is it? Is it a random look? Man, you guys are really noisy. Oh, never mind. <laughs> <laughs> Aww, you must have really 
that we just went off this goddamn forsaken land. We were just about ready to kill each other. Speak for yourself. Where's the ship? What ship? The ship you came here on, the rescue team. Oh, <laughs> duh. Allow me to introduce the rescue team. The Doc? Wait, what is this? Yeah. Well, told me you guys needed help, so I got the best help money could buy. <laughs> That's you got dropped off here. Oh, so now we have Lopez and Lopez 2.0. Okay, At least he has someone to talk to. <laughs> oh, there's the mysterious anime guy. Or girl. Guy? Girl? Whatever it is, it's unfortunate. This is rock bottom. You ever hit rock bottom before, Wash? Yep. I hit you right now. Well, you have now. Because this is it. Can't get any lower. I want to go home. Okay, well, maybe I spoke too soon. Attention, Officer on deck. Yes. Yes. Hello. Thank you. Yes. Hello. Thank you. You're welcome. Yes. Thank you. Captain, all team members are accounted for. Thank you, Freckles. Excellent news, Assistant Captain Freckles. Oh, my lord. All right. Fuck's sake, like man. What are you doing up there? Yes, yes, there is a big blue team. Hello. Yes, welcome to blue team, Timmy. Can I leave? It is good to have you on board today for the blue team. Awaiting mission briefing. Oh, yes, right. Yeah, right, yes. Um, okay, um. Uh, First order of business. Captain Caboose. Didn't see that one coming. This is, um, uh, I couldn't think of anyone worse, if I'm being honest with you. I love him, though. <laughs> That was However, also what I was thinking. Work on trying to boost the signal of the radio transmitter. We were barely able to maintain a steady line of communication last time. Even if we make contact again, there's no guarantee anyone would be able to understand us. Oh, yes. Oh, right, yes. Yes. Did we need to do that? Let's do that. Go fix the radio thing. Me? Why not Wash? He's the one who built this. Hucker, we can't do through this. All right, listen. We're going to use Wash here for another job. But... I mean, there's a giant robot trying to kill me. Yeah, why can't Freckles be our lookout? Exactly. I literally, I mean, I'm, try, I'm trying to make sense of Caboose here. Come on. But yeah, um, I don't really think Wash is going to be all that much of a lookout considering whoever our mysterious man and or woman is uh, can turn invisible. Now, we've seen that before, but this could just be like a staple of, of the, the Halo suits to be able to just turn invisible. So I'm not going to say who I think it is because it's probably someone I don't even know. It's a new character that's been introduced, maybe. But Killing stuff is like his entire reason for existing. Well, um, every great leader needs a great best friend. And Freckles, I think you could be that best friend. Acknowledged. <laughs> um, do I need to do anything? Oh my god, a red! Oh my- Oh, no, sorry. Sorry, 
that's my bad. Sorry. <laughs> you gotta fucking calm down with that shit. Caboose, you almost killed a man. Sorry. Again. So but stupid. Form the blues. Uh, yes, sir. Wait, what is your job for the Reds? What do you mean? I just did it. Okay, everybody. <laughs> just, and yes, so. Deep. All right, see you. Bye. I hope you're happy. Hey, don't pin this shit on me. I'll just stay here, I guess. All right, you're all patched up. I can't feel my toes. Is that normal? Um, let's go with yes. Works for me. I like that. So the next time someone comes to help you, I wouldn't really recommend beating the crap out of them. Well, the next time somebody comes to help us, I hope they actually bring us help. Hey, I take offense to that. Yeah, it's called an insult. Oh. So what the heck happened? <laughs> After you guys dropped me off in Valhalla, you guys were supposed to be going back to Blood Gulch. Well, funny story. Oh my god, who spilled soda all over my instrument? Oh my god, I spilled my soda? Somehow, the ship crashed. That definitely wasn't his fault. Seems to know why, or how, or when, or... Yeah. I didn't do it, you can't prove that I did. It's time we took action. Oh, uh, we're not gonna do anything violent, are we? Remember, I'm a pacifist. Yeah, but think about it. <laughs> it doesn't. Fist, but you need to throw a punch. That, always that word, man. He's just a little camp. Shit is pretty fucked. No, they're not talking about wash. Boys, Freckles! Oh god, no. No. <laughs> He's like a son to me. Um, we don't know who that is. We just got here. The robot. You mean Lopez? No, the the other robot. Creo que están hablando de nosotros. A menos que están hablando de mi construir no me importa. No, the giant robot that belongs to Caboose. <laughs> Poor Lopez. Lopez won, I mean. Why? Why whatever do you mean, Agent Washington? <sighs> Nothing, just doing my job. Nice save, Sarge. Very convincing. Very. Yeah, um, he hates this. I can tell so bad. Yeah, I mean, he's taking orders from Caboose, so what do you expect? But, anyways, we're going to end that episode there, so, uh, what have we learned today? Alright, so there is a mysterious man and or woman and or alien creature thing uh, roaming around next to our fellas. I, I don't know who it is, what it is, what it wants, who it wants. You know? I, I literally know nothing about it. I don't even know what the armor is. It's it's a, a, a camouflaged armor. Is this, is this Mantis? Is this going to be secretly... <laughs> they keep naming the robot Mantis. Turns out this person's Mantis. I mean, they did camouflage and they are sort of wearing camouflage uh, suits. So maybe that actually does make sense. Who knows? Who knows? Yes, um, Caboose became the de facto leader by, you know, 
them fucking up and just saying words they didn't mean. Uh, and, and, and Freckles took it a little bit too serious. And, and Freckles is not to be fucked with because Freckles will kill you. And Caboose will also accidentally kill you. So there's not a winning combination for the, for the, for the fellas there. Luckily, Caboose is still technically taking orders from Wash by just continuously asking Wash what they should be doing. And he's just reluctantly answering because if he doesn't, then, you know, Freckles is going to make them do whatever Caboose thinks they should do, which is just not going to end well at all. And it looks like the Reds are starting to take a little bit more of a lead in this as well, considering, like I said, I think I mentioned it uh, when we were watching like the first like five seasons. It really seemed to be more about the blues and then the reds were just sort of there so i'm glad that they're sort of getting a bit more screen time for this version of it because this is basically like going back to season one of like it being about the guys of course wash is there as well but you know it's mainly about them but yes brilliant episode absolutely loved it can't wait to watch more i hope you guys enjoyed it as well and if you did please do feel free to leave a like a comment and subscribe it does help massively, and I do massively appreciate it. And I will see you all in the next video. Goodbye.